I'm just round the corner from the North Circular Road, one of the boundaries of the ultra low emission zone, the ULES. But Sadiq Khan has just announced today that he's going to expand the boundary of the ULES up to the edge of Greater London, essentially taking the zone from next August up to the M25 motorway. I've decided to expand the ultra low emission zone so it covers all of uh, London for the simple reason that we've got to be tackling the triple challenges of air pollution, climate change and congestion. And just like four million Londoners are already breathing clean air because of the ultra low emission zone and its expansion to the north and south circular, I want an, a, another five million Londoners to also benefit from clean air. Now the mayor has described this decision as one of the hardest he's ever had to make either as an MP or as his six years as mayor so far. And it comes amid the cost of living crisis. He'd faced many calls to pause or delay the introduction of the wider zone and also after something of a massive backlash from motorists, many thousands responded to a TfL consultation saying, please don't expand the zone any further. The mayor is promising a scrappage scheme. He's going to make available 110 million pounds for low income Londoners, disabled Londoners and charities to help them to scrap their older vehicles to ensure they have a vehicle that's compliant with the ULEZ and therefore they no longer have to pay the 12 pounds 50 a day charge. The issue for the mayor going forward not only will he have upset many motorists, there may not be enough money for everybody who wants to change their vehicle. The last scrappage scheme he offered 62 million pounds and that was massively oversubscribed and only took over 15,000 vehicles off the road. He faces similar problems again here, even though there's 110 million pounds available. So this isn't the end of the story by any means, but for Londoners today, this is a sign that the mayor is not prepared to allow drivers of older vehicles to continue to poison the lungs of London children and London adults.